Okay, to winterize one of these is the Hydrovac. In this case, a uh, rival Hydrovac. Now, very simple, they made it easy on these trucks, but overall, it's the same concept on all of them. On this one, I've already drained all of the water out. So you, you need to make sure that all of the uh, water tanks are empty. So you drain the water out, drain the uh, filter housing here. I've already done it on this one, so it's a little bit loose. Close your water supply. And these trucks, the neat thing about these, they actually have a feature that allows you to blow the air out. And that's right here, this handle here. So you're actually able to blow air through the system. So you need to make sure that your glycol tank is shut off. Your water filter needs to be on. Your tanks need to be empty. And then with the water line, you can do this right here. You hold this lever up, go nice and slow at first to build some water pressure. Sorry, air pressure. And then what you're gonna get, you can see here, the last bit of water coming out. Now this is mostly this is going to be mostly air. I've already done this prior to taking the video to speed things up. So once you've blown the line out, you can take you can take the water filter off here. I'm just simple one-handed right now because I just put it on loose to speed this up a little bit, make sure it's clean. So you put that aside, check that. put it back in and again it doesn't have to be too tight your seal should keep the water from coming out anyway then what you're going to do is you're going to open the glycol valve so you're gonna let the glycol go into the pump okay right up here there's your glycol tank on these trucks you can see the nice red fluid there now once you've done that you can run the pump nice and low so on the remote here it's already turned on so it's over to the water mode I'm gonna turn the water on nice and low okay that wheel on there does not need to be spinning very fast. You want to make sure that the seals are protected. You're going to keep your eye on this. As soon as you get pink fluid coming out, you're good to go. Truck's winterized. But keep your finger on the remote because you don't want to waste any of it. So whenever you get the pink fluid coming out with the glycol, you can turn the pump off and you're interested. All right. Hold the pink. Shut it off. Now, once you have that, you're good to go. Now, it's your choice. Some guys like to blow the water back out. Sorry, the glycol back out make sure the system's empty. I'm one of them, but you can leave it in overnight if you choose. Now, if you do leave it in, notice I have some glycol leaking out of here. There's always a little bit. If you leave it in, turn that off so you're not wasting all your glycol. Okay? And it also helps in the morning. Now, I'm gonna show you real quick the way I do it in the morning as well. Before I run the truck back up, you take the water line out and you hook it up to this little puppy right here. Okay. Now what this thing does, it allows you to run it, so you're not wasting your glycol, to run it back into your tank. The way I do this is simple. I hook it up, I already know there's no water in it. And then what I do is, 
I take the cap off up there, the filler cap, otherwise it'll boil over. So to let the pressure off, you take the cap off, you hook this up, and then you slowly run the air through it again. It might be hard to see here, but you see all the glycol in here. So then you're gonna blow air through it nice and slow. I have the lever on a very low level, okay, just slightly. And you hold that until you can see here that you're only getting air through here. That means all the glycol is back to the holding tank. Now here. See this? White foam only. This means that your lines are empty again and a little bit of residual fluid that's in there is glycol so you should not freeze okay now I hold that open save every little bit of it if I can okay now I have it on full and truck's winterizing helps now every vac truck is basically the same okay the concept is really in an emergency you can use windshield washer fluid but glycol is preferred as glycol doesn't damage the seals in your pump now every vac truck is basically the same get all the water out all of it make sure the pump is completely drained and all your lines are completely drained once you've done that, you can run your glycol through the system, and that's it. Now this way, the way I have this truck done right now, the truck's ready to go for the morning. I leave my valves closed, both of these. Okay, now once this is all done, I'm going to put the cap back on, and here's just a little tip for the end of the day. I take this off, okay back to my cabinet run my hose in and then I do keep a little bottle of WD-40 now there are better there are better materials out there than WD-40 but this one's one of the cheaper ones I just make sure I get that just to keep it from rusting. Okay, put the cap back on, stays in the cabinet, close her up for the night. And that's it.